We pull back. So there's the pull back. Come on, baby. Back a little more for me. Oh, here, let me show you the other thing that you can do. You can, now that you know the extent of this bar, you can enter above the high of that particular bar. Right? Remember, the hash mark is your intended or a suggested entry point. It's not like it's carved in stone or anything. So you can let the, we've got the pullback anyways. I could either go in at the hash mark or in this case, I'm going to enter on the, above the extreme of this current bar, which again is only another tick or two. All right. And the, uh, sorry, the printing a swing signal. All right. So, oh, come back here, Falcon. Let's set up this order. Let's see if we can get that pullback a little bit. All right. It didn't give us much of a pullback, but we'll take it. I'm going to turn the trade manager, the profit manager on here, and we'll see. It's You can see we tried to generate some sell signals here. You can tell from the pace of the bars, it's not nearly as fast as what it was earlier on. I will sometimes roll to break even when you see me get this close to our first profit objective. Come on, boys. Take it out. Oh, scalp. There we go. Oh. And did I hear a trend signal print? Yes, we did. It is a red dot, though. So not really a trade that, or it's not really a signal that we're interested in right now. Let me show you something interesting here. This is our last swing, swing high in the eagle, all right? So that's going back to yesterday morning. This is leg number one. Get a little consolidation. This is leg number two. So when this signal developed, actually it would have, it would have been this signal here. I would have been getting excited, even though we had to take a little bit of heat for it and even if i got stopped out on this one i would still be taking Scalp. a signal because i'm looking for the second leg of this market move right we've had the, the breakout sorry it rolled that too far we've had the breakout above the resistance area of that last swing high and we know that after such a breakout of swing highs or swing lows we usually see mm. two moves in the direction of the breakout so here's move number one, and here is move number two. So this is the NQ. This is showing you the buyers and the sellers. What Ray's talking about are, if you see abnormally large numbers on either side here, very often those are false trades. They just kind of thrown them up there, and they will pull them if the market gets close. I don't know if they figure they can fool people into, you know, oh, hey, there's you know a thousand people up here looking to sell. I better sell. I'm not sure why they do that. Yes. Well, of course, there's no absolutes in trading. Well, there's 147 up there. That's not huge. Only 100 and, oop, where'd they go? 127. So somebody all of a sudden yanked about 70 orders, 50 to 70 orders. That's what Ray's talking about when he says those orders were false. Somebody just posted them up there and then peeled off a whole bunch of them. Well, I'd like to get close enough I could at least get the trade to break even. Probably need one more bar to get up there. Yeah, see how it says 200 just below our order? Now, let's see if that disappears. Watch what happens to that. There's still a couple hundred orders there. And what's happening is... Um, that's the high, right? Uh, 2673.50, that's the high. That's where all the sellers are at. They're trying to jump on board. Ours is the first order on the other side. So everybody that's selling 2673.50, guess where their loss orders are? Right there, 2673.75, 2674, 2674 and a quarter. That's why you, you can get those really, really quick moves when the market starts to, uh, starts to go. Now I'm going to chicken out a little bit and roll that up some. No, I don't think so either, Ray. I think somebody's going to take a poke at it. See, there we go. We're getting close enough. I'm going to break even. Now, I know there's a way to keep the dome on top, and I forget how. <laughs> uh -huh. Always on top. Okay, so you see, folks? Yeah, watch just below here. Watch below our order there. See how they're disappearing? We're down to 60 orders, and look at all the orders where our number is at. Those are all stop-loss orders. I think there's only 15, 20 orders. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Now watch them peel off. See how they're winding down? If you see that happening, that's 
usually the way the mark advances. All right, so that took a little bit longer than usual, but, and notice how, you know, we're starting to lose a little momentum here. This is our third leg now. I wouldn't count this as a third Scalp. leg because it, because it didn't exceed the high here. This was all part of the, uh, the consolidation Scalp. period, the bull flag, as was this here. I wouldn't count, I wouldn't count that as a leg. That's just part of the, con this consolid period. Well, we've done pretty well on the hawk this morning. Now, notice we've had this breakout, no follow through. Right? That's not a good sign. All right, you guys. Um, unless there's any questions, I think we're going to tidy up for today. I don't really expect too much to happen this afternoon. If you're trading, be careful. It is a Friday in the summertime, and you can see we've had a pretty extended move. If anything, I'd probably be more in favor like Ray in uh, seeing a little bit of a retracement, but I don't know. It's a nice, it, it's a nice day. I think I'm going to go do something outside.